welcome back. Dark Recaps here. Some might say abandoned buildings are the best places to explore for adventure, mystery, and excitement. I must warn you, there's something really spooky about these true stories that even made my hair stand up on my hands while I was reading them. Before we continue, if you have a suggestion on how I can improve my content, leave me a comment. Otherwise, consider browsing through some of my other videos on my channel. Let's begin. Me and my friends decided to visit the abandoned city of Pripyat, Ukraine. We agreed that we were not going to play any pranks on each other, we were all very close friends. When we arrived there, it was night time, the sun was already set so we had to use our flashlights to get around. It was pitch black at night and looked terrifying if you're easily scared. I remember it was raining heavily that night so we had to find a place to sleep quickly. Walking through the woods we heard what sounded like a dog whimpering in the distance. We thought that was very strange because animals in Pripyat were pretty scarce. We reached one of those abandoned multi-story apartments and decided to spend the night there. It kept us out of the rain at least. The ground floor entrance was barred but there was an open window. We all climbed in through it and went up to one of the bedrooms on the second floor. We settled down and started changing into dry clothes since we were all pretty much soaked from the rain. I had some food and before we all went to sleep I wanted to walk around the building for a little bit. I took my flashlight and started exploring the apartment seeing if there was anything interesting. It was pitch black in the apartments and hallways, and the sound of the wind and rain echoed in my ears. As I walked through a hallway with my flashlight, I wasn't sure if I had heard a faint knock on one of the apartment doors that I had just passed. It sounded like it came from behind the front door. I wasn't certain if it was indeed a knock or the wind, but there was no mistaking that it wasn't one of my friends because everyone was back where we set up camp. I decided to make my way back to the room where we had settled down. I told my friends about the creepy knock on the door, we discussed and agreed that it may have just been the wind or something. So we thought nothing of it and all went to sleep. I woke up in the middle of the night because of the heavy rain, and as I turned over, I noticed that my friend was standing by the front door. He had his flashlight on, shining it around in every direction. He told me that he had just seen something, but it was gone. He was visibly shaken. I asked him what it looked like and if he got a good look at whoever it was. He said he could not tell what it was, but that it was a silhouette of a human figure. We both stayed up for around two hours waiting to see if someone would turn up again. We thought maybe it could have been other explorers trying to scare us or something. Without seeing or hearing anything we got back to our beds. My friend set his GoPro camera down to film the rest of night, in case something interesting happens. The next day we woke up eager to check the footage. That's when we all got spooked the F out. The camera was on, but the video recording was stopped. We checked the footage and all of the material filmed up to the present was deleted. There were three of us, and none of us heard any noises in the room during the rest of the night. Someone was with us in that room that night as we slept. Someone stopped the recording and deleted all the footage. To this day, I get chills just thinking about it. A few years ago, there was an abandoned house next to mine. The previous owner moved out about 15 years prior and never sold it. I am attracted to abandoned buildings and creepy stuff so one day I decided to explore it. I waited for the evening time to make sure no one was around, and snuck in. I walked in through the back door and into a living room kitchen combo. When I reached the kitchen, I heard a faint noise and turned to see a small dog in the corner. It looked at me for a moment then ran off. In the living room there was a little rocking chair just staring at me. I found it quite creepy. The kitchen had a very old looking fridge and it was covered in dust. The odd thing about it was that I could see palm prints all over it. I wasn't easily scared so I thought nothing of it. I found a box of files in the kitchen and sat on the chair. I carefully opened the box and found an old photo album. The name of the album was My Life. I flipped it open and saw a picture of a woman and her family on the first page. The album didn't have any dates written but they were in black and white so I assumed they were old. 
I flipped to the next page and saw more pictures of that same family. Oddly, all the pictures were exactly the same. The album continued like this for about another six or seven pages with the same pictures until all that was left were blank white pages. Just before the end of the album there was one picture left, it was a woman and some young children. She was sitting on the floor playing with them. There was an older boy standing behind the woman, holding a lit candle. There was a thin black line around him that looked like it could have been drawn by a pencil. How creepy was that, I thought to myself. The photo had no date or caption, just that it was taken in back in the day. I didn't find anything else of interest so I put the album back in the box and got up to explore the rest of the house. The floor was making creaking sounds as I walked. As I was walking up the staircase I could feel a very cool breeze coming down from upstairs. I felt some goosebumps but decided to keep going. I was walking down the hallway when suddenly the hairs on the back of my neck stood up. I couldn't explain it, but something was just not right. There was a sudden gust of wind that seemed to blow the door open and made me jump a little bit. I kept walking down the hallway and reached the end of the hall where I turned to my right. It was then that I saw it. A small, closed door with a light coming from inside. I could see the light from the bottom of the door. I opened it slowly and stepped in, holding my breath. There was an office with old paintings on the walls, dusty furniture. The light was coming from the window, there was a street light near the window. Next thing I heard was some sort of faint crying of a man behind the wall, that's when I got scared and creeped the F out to the bone. I rushed to get out of there. I ran back to the door and slammed it shut. I still remember my heart pounding when I got out of the building. This was about a year ago when one Friday evening after school, me and my friends went to explore an abandoned kids asylum. It was hard to get in because the doors and windows were boarded up. The boards were old and some seemed easy to break, especially the one covering the side fire exit. One of my friends was always a bit of a menace. So as expected he kicked it in for us to gain entry. As soon as we entered the hallway it stood out to us that the place was not vandalized by anyone. Everything was dusty and old but there was no graffiti or anything, no signs that anyone was here before us. It was creepy. We decided to explore the place, some of us went upstairs and some went to the basement. The lower level seemed to be a bit more extensive than the upper. We found a lot of old toys and other things from when it was first built and operating. There were even a few plants still alive that seemed to grow out through the wooden floorboards. We did some exploring and found a weird room near the front of the building where they had stored all the boxes of old textbooks and other stuff. It was like some kind of library or archives I think, but there wasn't any sign of how it operated or who used it. When we opened one of the boxes, we found articles and papers that dated back from the 1990s. This one box had a label on top described as not suitable, destroy urgently. We found that strange. There were a lot of random articles and dolls in there too, but not much else. We put everything back and left the room shutting the door behind us. There was a long hallway that led to another door we hadn't gone through yet. We all talked about how creepy it looked and how we wanted to see what's there. It was getting late in the evening with little daylight left, suddenly everything got darker and overcast. We heard the rain pick up. As we walked towards the end of the hallway to explore the room behind that door, we heard multiple people running up the stairs and as we all looked back, we noticed they were our friends, the guys that went to explore the basement. They all looked white in their faces and freaked out. They told us that they had heard a kid crying and some weird scratching noise behind one of the doors in the basement. They said and insisted that we all left the building immediately. We agreed to leave and as we were walking down the staircase we heard something that sent the biggest chill through our bodies. It sounded like that same door we headed to earlier, open and slammed shut, followed by the distant sound of something heavy running towards us. The sound was so real it seemed to echo throughout the whole building. We ran as fast as we could to get out of the building. We never found out if it was a ghost or if someone homeless lived there. Nevertheless, it was the biggest scare of our lives.
thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed your time here. If you did, please consider leaving a like on this video. If you are hungry for more content like this, subscribe to me. Dark Recaps. Take care, and I'll see you guys next time.